love it, certainly, because it gives me an opportunity to reach any of my kids and grandchildren with a press of the word send. I can get in touch with them right away and get back any answers that I need and reach out to them anytime I want. So I think it's the greatest thing going. That's true in the communication and on the business side, it gives an opportunity to do things on, on computers uh, that we used to do by hand uh, for many, many years. And it, it, it's just amazing what you, the information that you can get and the, what it gives you as background uh, in order to make hopefully better decisions. My parents gave me a highly developed sense of duty. <laughs> and uh, beyond that, I enjoy what I do, basically, most times. Not always, of course. There are difficult meetings. There are tragedies that you, you, you have to face up to, mistakes. Uh, but basically, it's a wonderful life. I enjoy, I enjoy what I'm doing. Oh, I think it's a very exciting time. It's a very difficult time with the effects of the recession where jobs are very scarce. You know, m my advice is really threefold. One is to make sure that you are picking the right associates, people you really can look up to from both their integrity and from their knowledge base. Two, try to find an environment where you're going to be on a very steep learning curve. There's so much changing so rapidly, and the faster you can acquire that and be challenged by it, uh, I think the better off you are. And third is to treat each job as if it's going to be your total career. I know a lot of people say, geez, you're going to go through five or six different jobs, but uh, I think you should approach each one as if this is going to be a lifetime commitment and uh, give it your all. Oh, this, the, the world has still got all kinds of opportunities. There's, I think, a greater opportunity for entrepreneurs today than there ever was. Uh, there's a great reception for that. Uh, there's funding for people who have, who have good ideas. Uh, and I'm, I think having a very positive attitude about that, being a, being a glass half full, not half empty uh, attitude is, 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 is prominent and very important. The older you get, the more you are able to ride out changes uh, in, um, uh, in your profession uh, or even in your life, because that certainly is what happens. Uh, um, and I think you have to learn to have a, a uh, if you're going to manage to get by through all of these ups and downs and changes and everything, uh, I think you really do have to have a sense of uh, contentment about where you are in the process. Uh, I think that probably is very important. And also a recognition uh, that, that things do change. And if something has changed the wrong way, it may change back the right way. I think what I've learned about riding out cycles of change is that, in fact, things will change. Uh, and one can learn from history. One of the cautions I tell my, uh, myself and others is uh, quite often you think you have seen something before because it seems very similar and you try to apply the same solutions to that problem that you applied before. And that's quite often a mistake. Uh, one can learn from history, but history is not a blueprint for the future. I want my legacy to be that, that I was a person who tried to help out wherever I could and that I cared about people and that I tried to create a culture wherever I was engaged that helped people to self-optimize, um, gave people a, uh, opportunities to succeed, opportunities to fail, uh, that I created a lot of opportunity for people. I'd like to be remembered that I was involved in creating a lot of jobs because I think it's really important that, that uh, people have a job so that they can take their family on to, to uh, you know, greater levels of achievement and enjoyment than, than they had before. So I think job creation is something that I'm very proud of.